How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. EA just dropped Icon Swaps 3. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Before we get into it, let me know in the comments down below who you guys are going for in your Icon Swaps and leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about which ones are the best value icons you can get from Icon Swaps 3 using your tokens. Now, of course, you would get the same amount of tokens we get uh, as always. Uh, so we're going to go through them and have a look. So for six tokens, you can get yourself a Prime Moments Peter Schmeichel or a Prime Moments Yari Litmanen. Uh, for seven, you can get a Prime Moments Trezeguet or a Prime Moments Gattuso. Uh, for nine, you can get a Prime Moments Laudrup or a Prime Moments Carlos Puyol or a Prime Icon Pack for nine tokens. For 10 tokens, you can get yourself a Prime Moments Overmars. For 10 tokens, you can also get a Baby Hullet. Uh, you can get yourself a Prime Moments Lampard. For 30, you can get a Middle Maldini. Uh, or a Prime Kaka for 15 tokens. Uh, then over here for 16 tokens, we have uh, Middle Kenny Dalglish. We have Prime Moments uh, Ian Rush. We have Prime Moments Burkamp over here for 16. For 18, we have Moments Requel. Uh, over here for 19, we have Maradona, of course, as expected, given that Pez give away a free Maradona. It's only middle Maradona though. For 19, we have Prime Moments Petit. For 20, we have Prime Moments Cannavaro. For 21, Prime Moments Carlos Alberto. Uh, for 21, also it's Prime uh, Grincha. Unfortunately, not Prime Moments, just Prime Grincha. And then for 23, it's Baby Baby Zidane. So the ones that I think aren't worth it, definitely Zidane. I don't think Baby Zidane's worth it for 23 tokens personally. If it was middle or prime, I'd actually consider it a lot heavier, but. Baby Zidane, I just don't think he's he's worth it for 23 tokens. Now, the Grinch card is decent, but again, for 21 tokens, in my opinion, not worth it. Now, for 21 tokens, Carlos Alberto is a very good right back. Will be the best right back you probably use on the game and probably be the best right back for the rest of the game. This has sensational stats. Uh, bearing in mind, you can only get this card if you, if you go for uh, this card. You can only get him and no other icons. So if you want to get yourself a, a really good right back that you're never going to get rid of, that you're always going to use for the rest of the year, uh, it's a great option. You know, it's a, it's a good option. You can definitely uh, enjoy him for the, the entirety of the year. He's a fantastic right back. Um... Same with Cannavaro. I actually use Baby Cannavaro still. He's incredible. He's absolutely incredible this year. The best center back I've used this year is Baby Cannavaro. Uh, so I can only imagine his prime moments is absolutely insane. Uh, again, remember that you can only get this guy and nobody else as the lowest token amount is six. So if you are going to go for this guy, uh, you you literally cannot get anyone else. But you do save yourself uh, four tokens worth of time, I guess, uh, if you don't want to go for four certain tokens. So it's a good option, uh, but it does take a long time. And unfortunately, um, it will be something that you can only get this card and, uh, and none others but for 20 tokens to be honest i don't think you'll ever get a center back better than this card in the game for some reason small agile center backs are insane this year um so i'd imagine that if you go for this guy you've got your starting center back for the rest of the year uh over here at 19 we have petit uh now petit's a great card he'll be a fantastic midfielder for you if you're struggling and you need a cdm if you need a center mid uh petit in my opinion, is definitely a great shout. But if you need more than one position, again, you can only get this guy and nobody else, so he might not be worth it if you need more than one position. Uh, Maradona, I would stay clear of Maradona as well. Great card for 19 tokens, do not get me wrong, but there are better options out there, um, and I don't think that he is going to be the best of options you can go for here, to be honest. I think you're way better off saving your coins and trying to buy somebody rather than going for this card, because although it's a good card, like I said, you don't get any other options and if you're going to go get 19 tokens anyway and you want to get just one midfielder this moments Petit will do way better at CDM than this Maradona will do at Cam, in my opinion. I have used a card, and he's really good, but he just lacks in stuff like 75 stamina. Uh, it means he's not amazing. I think he has three-star weak foot as well, which is unfortunately a uh, downside, but he has fantastic dribbling and, and shooting, don't get me wrong. Requelm, avoid at all costs. Uh, moments Burkamp. Now, this card is interesting. 16 tokens is actually quite, quite fairly priced, in my opinion. Very nice-looking card. Four-star, four-star, good agility and balance. Great finishing, great composure, uh, good pace. He'll be a fantastic Cam or a striker now if you're a massive uh dutch fan uh or if you are dutch or if you're a massive arsenal fan obviously you'll love him uh from previous years he's got very good stats and to be honest greatly priced at 16 tokens i think it's definitely one you uh you heavily consider if you're looking for either a cam or a striker uh in your team you'll be able to get him fairly quickly as well it's only this season and the next one and then you'll be able to get him um so yeah, in my opinion, this one uh, I think is a, definitely a good shout. It's definitely a good option to go for if you're considering going for uh, for a striker or a cam. I think that 16 tokens is pretty pretty well priced, and of course you can get one of the lower tier tokens up to eight as well. Uh, and there's a few decent ones now. Uh, Ian Rush, in my opinion, not 
amazing. Like, uh, he just doesn't have the stats for me. Uh, Agilian Balance is not bad and can be fixed with a chem style. Uh, he's got a good, like, don't get me wrong, he's a phenomenal looking card. But I just don't think he play in the way that I play FIFA. That's just my personal preference, though. If you like, you know, uh, more stronger, uh, not slower because he's fast, but the sort of player where you're not looking to create the chance with him, but finish off the chance with him. I think this is good. Like for 16 tokens, it's a really, really nice looking card. And of course, if you're a Liverpool fan and you, you just like Ian Rush as well. Uh, but I think with 16 tokens, if you're looking to get yourself a striker and you don't want to go with Burkamp, I think that this Dalglish card is the one for you. Four star skills, five star weak foot, uh, phenomenal in-game stats. I use this card for about four or five weekends straight. And I think out of, out of about 150 games, he's got me like 160 something goals and like 80 something assists he's fantastic as a striker he's great as a cam or as a center forward uh depending on where you're playing him you can play out wide he could play central very very good card i highly recommend this at 16 tokens very well priced i was a bit disappointed i was hoping that they give him uh give us the, the prime version i thought that we'd it'd be fair to give us a prime version but i guess at 16 tokens the mid version's not that badly priced um then we're going for kaka I didn't like Kaka when I used him. He felt really clunky on the ball and he just didn't feel great. However, uh, you might have the loan in your club. If you have the loan Kaka, check your club for him. Uh, you might have done the objective a while back. Give him a go, see if you like him because he's good. It's a good price. 15 tokens is, is pretty fair price. It uh, leaves you nine tokens to, to sort of work with. And there's a good there's a good couple of icons for nine tokens or less. Um, or you could get a prime icon pack. So uh, I think that uh, it's, it's a decent it's a decent looking card. I personally didn't like him, but He's a great cam. You know, he's got great stats. He's got good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing, uh, and good physicals as well. Good stamina. Five-star skills, of course, and four-star weak foot. Uh, in my opinion, if you are looking for a cam and you don't, you only want to do maybe 15, 16 tokens, uh, this guy it will be the best out-and-out -out cam you can get. Uh, Burkamp would be more of an attacking centre-forward sort of player. Uh, same with Dalglish. So if you're looking for just an out-and-out -out cam, someone that's going to play cam in like a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, two narrow or, or something like that, this guy is definitely the guy for you. Uh, but I think that uh, if you're looking for someone that's maybe playing in a 4-2-3, one setup so on that you need to double up as a striker essentially if you're playing a lone striker up top I'd say go with either Dalglish or Burkamp or maybe Ian Rush if you're looking for that. Maldini's a great card. This this guy is really good in game. Uh, I like this centre-back card a lot. For 13 tokens, well priced. If you're looking for a cheap uh, centre-back, he's a very good option. Uh, I really, really enjoy Maldini on this game. I think he's a very, very good centre-back. Uh, and I think that this is a really good price, actually. For for 13 tokens, it allows you uh, 11 tokens to go for one of the, one of the lower-end icons as well. Um... So, you know, you can get this card, then you can get yourself a decent center mid or a decent uh, attacker or something like that as well uh, if you're looking for that. So it's a, it's a decent card. Bear in mind, he hasn't got the best agility in balance, um, but he has got four-star weak foot as a right-footed, medium-high, 6-1 centre-back. So he will be a solid rock in your defense if you're looking for someone like that. Uh, in my opinion, if you're looking for a cheap centre-back, this is the one to go for, 100% for me. Um, you know, there's there's another option that we're going to talk about in a minute, but I think if you're looking for uh, someone and you, for example, looking for someone and you've got 15 tokens to spare this is definitely the guy for you now frank lampard the card is not bad don't get me wrong it's not a bad card four star weak foot three star skill moves it's not a bad looking card but i think that you can get better now obviously if you're a massive uh english supporter you you, you like frank lampard for us for england or you're a massive chelsea fan uh and you're a big frank lampard fan then <laughs> Go for it if you really like Frank Lampard, if you loved him growing up or whatever. Uh, but for me, I don't think it's worth going for this card. I just don't think that he'll be amazing as an out-and-out -out midfielder, to be honest. Um, you know, he's got decent stats here and there. He's good finishing, good composure, good long shots, things like that. Uh, but he lacks in Jillian balance. Um, he lacks in, in overall aggression and things like that. And uh, his pace as well is quite low. Uh, I think the best position you could play this guy, because he hasn't really got the, the most amazing defensive stats for a CDM. I think that he's probably better as a box-to-box. -box. So if you are playing a, a, a formation where you want a box-to-box -box midfielder maybe this is the one for you but i would probably uh steer clear because there's better options to go for uh baby hullet don't even waste your time i've used this card and it isn't good it is not good at all he's got terrible agility and balance in comparison to his, his massive six foot three stature um you know agility and balance in the 70s is not always that bad but he's six foot three and he's incredibly clunky on the ball uh he hasn't got amazing stamina his aggression is really poor as well meaning he doesn't throw himself into tackles he doesn't get stuck in uh and unfortunately he actually gets bodied off the ball a little bit uh because of that he hasn't got the best uh going forward stats uh dribbling stats overall aren't great either he's He's not that fast in game. Really did not enjoy this card when I used him. And three-star skills, 
would stay clear. Even for 10 tokens, I'd just stay clear. Now, this Overmars card, I think is pretty decent for, is he 10 as well? He is 10. So I think this is actually not bad. Three-star skills, if you're looking for a winger with, with good skills, I'd stay clear. But if you're looking for a wide cam, uh, for example, you play a 4-2-3-1, this guy will perform really well. He's got a monstrous left and right foot with a five-star weak foot. He's got really powerful shots. Uh, he's got great stamina, great agility imbalance, and just overall dribbling stats. If you're looking for someone that's quite cheap in terms of, of the tokens, and you're looking for a decent wide cam or a decent winger, I would go for Overmars. He's actually a really good option. Um, now, the prime icon pack at nine is undoubtedly very, very tempting. If you're going to do, for example, you're going to get yourself maybe a Kaka and the prime icon pack, Get the Prime Icon Pack first if you want to do the Prime Icon Pack because you might pack one of the items that you're going to get already. Uh, obviously, this you can't get Prime Moments in them. Uh, so there's only a select handful. For example, um, there's Kaka, there's Grincha. Uh, who else is a, a Prime but not a Prime Moment? It's only those two actually that are Prime Icons uh, in this entire batch. It's only those two. So it's only Kaka and Grincha. I would unlock the Prime Icon Pack first if you're considering going for Kaka just in case you pack Kaka and then you can get yourself a different icon. But I think this is definitely a fantastic deal at nine tokens. It's worth it, in my opinion. I'm going to be going for this, 100%. I haven't actually got more than two tokens in any of your other icon swaps, but I'm going to be getting this, and I'm going to be uh, chancing my luck, and we'll see what we get from the Prime Icon Pack. Because in my opinion, there is some amazing Prime Icons you can get. Hullet, Vieira, Eusebio, Zidane, Garincha, Carlos Alberto, Cannavaro... There's so many. There's a huge plethora of amazing icons. Doubt Gleesh, uh, to name another one. Uh, Zambrot is amazing as well. There's, there's loads of them. George Best. I would go for this. I think it's it's fantastic value um, at nine tokens. Puyol as well is a decent value at nine tokens. The only thing I don't like about this card is he's not very fast. He doesn't have the best agility and balance, and he's only five foot ten. Um, I'd say if you aren't going to do more than like nine tokens, then maybe it's a good option if you need a centre-back. Maybe you're trying to get a link to that right-back Ramos. Maybe you're trying to get a link to, to any sort of Spaniard in your team or something like that. It's not a bad option, to be fair. Um, but I just think that what you sacrifice in, in pace isn't really made up for in, in passing or in dribbling. Um, maybe if you have better dribbling stats or better passing stats, I'd say he's a bit better. But... I just don't think he's that amazing, to be honest. Uh, unless you are happy with a really slow, sluggish centre back, I would probably stay clear. Loud drop's not a bad shout. Uh, this Prime Moments card's actually pretty nice. Four star, four star. Uh, good agility and balance, good finishing, good composure, good stamina. Uh, would be a pretty decent cam, to be fair. 91 passing, 95 dribbling, and 90 pace. Uh, valued at nine tokens is actually really cheap. I think if you're going for a multiple different icons, this will be a great cam for you. So I think you heavily consider this if you're looking for a cam and you're not gonna you're not gonna get one of the high tier icons. Uh, good so is a pretty decent CDM. The only thing I don't like about this card is he's pretty slow. Uh, sorry, he's not pretty slow. Well, he is pretty slow, um, but he's pretty small. Uh, and in that height, I mean, he's got good strength and aggression, so he probably would be like a little bulldog around the pitch. But yeah, I don't know. I like having Vieira. I think Vieira is a bit bit of a big uh, CDM, and I enjoy uh, a, a taller, uh, stronger CDM. But uh, I think that he's a decent CDM for, for nine tokens. You know, he's cheap. Uh, he can be mixed into a couple of different options if you're going for a couple of nines, uh, you know, he could be a decent option at CDM. Uh, I think that Trezegate 7 is actually a good value. Um, now, surprisingly enough, this is a card that I probably wouldn't get along with. Uh, four star, four star is not bad. 85 pace isn't bad. Uh, 95 shooting is great. Uh, his physicals are also very good. His agility and balance is very low. Now, the only thing I will say about this is if you're a kind of player that builds up slowly uh, and you get yourself into good positions, uh, but you're not looking to create the attack with one player, this will be a good player for you. Now, if you're a kind of player that gets messy at cam and does all the work with Messi, wouldn't be a good icon for you. Uh, but I think that it's a good option for anyone that that builds player around players. And I think there's a lot of passing play and stuff like that would be a good option. It's seven tokens. I think it's good value, to be honest. Uh, it's a good icon for seven tokens. Lippmann as well is an out-and-out -out cam. He has got three-star skills. He's got four-star Weaver, to be fair. Hasn't got the, the worst stats. Now, he's cheap. He's six tokens. He's a very cheap icon. Um, and as a cam, will probably perform pretty well for you. In my opinion, there's other good options to go for that are a little bit more. Uh, but if you're looking to get six tokens, you're looking to get just one cheap one, might not be a bad chat, to be fair, because the other options are goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, goalkeepers for me, I'd, I'd stay clear. Even though it's six tokens for a prime icon moment goalie, I'd probably still stay clear, to be honest. Uh, unless you only do six tokens and you've already got a Lippmann and version of uh, somehow, um, I would probably just stay clear of Schmeichel. Now, 
Uh, in terms of the best value combinations, in my opinion, a good combination to go for in this set of icon swaps would be going for uh, the Prime Icon Pack, uh, going for Loudrop, and then going for either Litmanen, uh, or if you really want to, go for Schmeichel. But uh, I would say go for Loudrop, Litmanen, and, uh, and the Prime Icon Pack. Wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, you could also go for the Prime Icon Pack and, uh, and the likes of maybe like a, a Maldini, for example. Um, wouldn't be a bad shout as well. You get, get, get yourself a good centre-back and you get, to, uh, you get to pull the trigger, sorry, uh, on the Prime Icon Pack. Uh, I think another good option would be to, to go for the likes of uh, a Kenny Dalglish for your striker spot. And then uh, and then you've got obviously eight tokens left. You can go for, uh, you can go for maybe a, another striker to, to partner with him or get yourself good to do so as a CDM. Uh, I think another good shout as well uh, in terms of, of good combinations, um, I think going for like a Dennis Burkamp or a Gattuso would be good because you've then got a Cam and you've got yourself um, a, a decent CDM. Uh, alternatively, Either of these three cards will be a phenomenal improvement to your team. Uh, it will take you a little while to get them, but I think they'll be a phenomenal improvement to your team as well. Uh, so if you want to go for one one particular card in total, I think that this is a good shout uh, because it will be a, a very, very nice addition to the team. Uh, I, like I said, stay clear of Zidane, probably stay clear of Garincha as well. Um, these three, I think, are the only three worth it if you're going for one individual icon um or if you're going for combinations i think like i said burkamp is a great great one to throw in there dal Kalish is a great one to throw in there kaka's decent as well uh maldini's great one to throw in there as well uh, and i think overmars is also don't sleep on overmars but the prime icon pack in my opinion uh the mid icon pack was 18 tokens nine tokens for a prime icon pack with the amount of amazing prime icons that there are in the game I think it's worth it. I think you go for it. I think you give it a go. Uh, but that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please smash a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't around here. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys are going to be going for in your icon tops. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.